Jesus replies to Peter and says, let me get even more specific, Peter. Not only are you going to stumble tonight, but you're going to deny even knowing me, even knowing who I am. And you're going to do it three times in the next few hours. Peter said to him, even if I have to die with you, I will not deny you. And so said, would you underline this word? And so said all the disciples. All the disciples say, me too, Lord, me too. I'll die before I'll desert you. And you know what? They meant it. They meant it. Just like the Israelites meant it when after Moses presented them with God's covenant and God's laws, they responded by declaring to a man all that the Lord has spoken, we will do. All that the Lord has spoken, we will do. The disciples meant it just like we mean it. As I said, when we sing songs about how we love God with our whole heart, how we'll follow him all the days of our life, how there's nothing we love more than him, they meant it. And we mean it, don't we? And as Jesus listened to them and looked at them, as he looks at you, as he looks at me, he thinks to himself, I know that you want to. And I love that you want to. Because if you've walked with Jesus for more than a few years, then you've figured something out. And if you haven't, you will. You've figured out the truth about you and I. We won't follow God all the days of our life. We won't. There will be days when we take off in the direction that is opposite to the will of God. There will be days when we love our sin more than we love God. There will be days when he will lead, but we will not follow. There will be days when he will speak, we will hear, and we'll choose to disobey him. And when you realize that you will do those things after you've been saved, after you understand the gospel message in the cross, it should make you realize two things. Firstly, you and I are so much more broken than we realize. But secondly, the grace of God is so much greater than we realize. You know, I look forward to heaven so much, and I look forward to receiving a resurrected body that is free from corruption and sin because more than anything, I can't wait to be able to say to the Lord, I love you with my whole heart and have it be true. I can't wait. Because right now in this fallen, broken, fleshly body, the best I can say if I'm being honest is, I want to love you with my whole heart, Lord. I want to. I want to. My spirit is willing, but man, my flesh is weak. And so I can't wait for the day when I can tell God, I love you with my whole heart. And it won't mean I love you with my whole heart right now. Or, I love you with my whole heart in this moment. It will actually mean, I love you with my whole heart every moment from now until eternity. Can't wait. It'll mean forever. Jesus doesn't argue with his disciples because he knows that they want to be faithful to him. And he knows that they don't yet understand their own sinfulness. I don't think I'm ruining the story when I tell you they're all going to run. They're all going to abandon Jesus. And here's the good news, though. Jesus is not going to abandon them. He's not going to give up on them. He's going to keep working on them. He's going to keep working through them. And he's going to build the church on them. And when it's all said and done, every single one of them will again be faced with the threat of death 
for being Jesus' disciple. And when that moment comes again, none of them will turn away again. All except John will die as martyrs rather than disown Jesus. And John will only survive because the attempts to kill him fail. When you begin to see that God is doing all this in your life, it will make you love Jesus in such a deep way. When you begin to realize how faithful he is and how faithful you're not, when you begin to realize that he's still working on you and he's still working through you, even after all your failures and mess-ups, when you finally grasp the truth that he never leaves you, he never forsakes you, you become the kind of disciple that is willing to die for Jesus because he's worth it, because he's worthy, and because he's wonderful.